Hello friends, this video on Algebra Part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the next question is, what do these alphabets represent? I mean, what exactly are these alphabets? Like we say X, sometimes we say Y, sometimes we say A, sometimes B. What are these actually? These alphabets represent the variables. Now what are variables? Again, so these are all new terms. So variables, the word variable is derived from the word vary. So something which varies, a value which varies, which changes. So what are these alphabets which keep varying with different situations? Now, do you see the picture on the screen? It shows the same person but with different appearance. Sometimes the hair is blue, sometimes green, sometimes red, sometimes black. So the appearance changes depending on the situation. For example, if you are going to a party, so you dress like that. When you are going to school, you dress up in the school uniform. When you are going for your sports day, then you take up your sports uniform. So you know your dress keeps changing depending on your occasion. In a similar way, these alphabets, for example, we assumed that let's say that your big brother has X number of chocolates. Now this X number of chocolates, X could be 10, X could be 20, X could be 3, X could be 100. So the values of X could be anything, right? And the value of X changes depending on the conditions given in that problem. So depending on the situation, X can take any value. So that is why these alphabets are called variables. So let's take one more example. Now, in the last section we spoke about two examples right where we said that uh, if the age of your brother right now is x so after say few years maybe after five years his age would be 15 so in this particular equation so looking at the condition given in this equation we find that the value of x is equal to 10 because if x is 10 then 10 plus 5 is 15 so in this case the value of x is 10 but that doesn't mean that x will be 10 in all the cases for example, if it would have been something like this, like x plus 2 is equal to 20. In that case, do you think x will be equal to 10? No. In that case, x would be equal to 18. So you say the same x can take different different values in different equations. So these equations are nothing but different situations. Right? So we can say that x is a variable. Now, when we introduce variable, it becomes important to very clearly distinguish between constants and variables. Constants, those quantities which have fixed values, that is their values will never change. Now, needless to say, all the numbers are constant. You think of any number, 5, 10, 1002, 1 by 2, 3 by 5, 1, 10,012 divided by 3, you talk about 0 0.5, 7 0.25, 0, you talk about any number, they are all constant because their values remain the same. So if we say 0, 0 will always mean 0, 0 can never be equal to 5, so 0 can never be equal to 100, so 0 is 0. Similarly, 0 0.5 will always be 0 0.5. So you talk about any number, they will always have that same value. So they are constants. Whereas when we talk about variables, these are those quantities which have changing values. And mostly we represent variables with alphabets like X, Y, L, Z, A, B, P, Q, etc. So you can make use of any alphabet to represent a variable. And these alphabets, they have different values at different situations. For example, if you have an equation like this, x plus 5 is equal to 10. So in this particular situation, the value of x would be equal to 5. Right? But let's say that if you have an equation like this, x divided by 5 is equal to 10. So in this case, the value of x would be equal to 50. So therefore, looking at this, we can say that x is a variable because the value of x changes depending on the situation. Whereas when you look at these values like 5 or 10, so these are constants. So 5 is 5, 10 is 10. Similarly, 5, 50, these are all constants. So basically, all the numbers are constants whereas variables are generally denoted by alphabets and they represent values which keep changing themselves. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.